So, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel where we discuss all things golfing and streetwear. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing a video a lot of you guys have been asking for recently. We are going to be doing an updated video on my golf wing collection. I dropped my first golf wing collection video back in March of 2020, which I believe was on like the 8th or the 9th or something like that. So I know it's not technically exactly a year later, but it is March 2021. One thing you all might notice when we go into this video, if you compare it to the one I uploaded in 2020, you will notice that I have have slightly downsized on my golf collection. I still have a lot of pieces to show you guys in this video, but I don't have quite as much as I used to. And the only reason for that is I have been saving up a ton of money for the Golf Buffler collection. I've sold some pieces. I've been doing work on my personal time, saving up as much money as I can because I have seen so many pieces from that season that I love. So I've been selling a lot of pieces from my personal collection so I can save up a lot of money for that season. It's now looking like we're probably going to be getting that towards the end of 2020, probably for a fall winter drop or something like that that was another reason i decided to go ahead and film this video because i really really wanted to wait but like i said we still got a ton of pieces to look at today and i know this video might be a bit of a longer one so i don't want to take up too much of your time so let's go ahead and get straight into the video we're going to be starting this video out with my socks since i don't really have a ton as you all know i'm not a huge fan of spending a lot of money on like boxers and socks but there have been a couple of socks and underwear that golf has released that have been absolute must-haves for me so i just wanted to go ahead and show you guys the few that i do have and kicking off my golf socks we just have the golf basic socks if you guys are really familiar with golf wing then i'm sure you all recognize these socks i actually have never bought a pair of these socks outright i buy a lot of mystery boxes whenever i go out to camp flognaw whenever they include some sort of accessory or socks in those mystery boxes this is a really common piece to get so i have had a ton of these before and i have sold a vast majority of them but i still have one or two and these are just one of the pairs that i decided to hang on to because they do look nice with some of my fits but not a lot of them and coming up next we have the camp flog 2018 kill cat socks camp flog 2018 was actually the first flog i ever went to and it was my personal favorite lineup i'm a huge fan of literally every single artist that was on that lineup so i have a lot of memories attached to camp flog 18 so while i don't wear these socks a lot i do have a ton of memories just with that year's camp flog so i kind of hang on to them just for that and coming up next we have have my personal favorite pair of golf socks fashion wise and that is actually the golf gelato socks this is the only pair of golf socks i have ever bought outright off the website and the reason for that is i absolutely love the gelato design i love everything they've done with it from the scarf which we'll look at here in just a second to the sweater vest and all the way to the socks i really hope they do something else with it moving forward because i love it and coming up next we have pieces that i was kind of iffy about even including on the video but they really are some of my favorite golf Golf pieces that I own even though they are underwear I figured some of you guys might be interested in seeing them because they are you know a fairly sought after pair of golf underwear and the first pair that I have here is actually this green leopard print pair I don't actually own a lot of leopard print stuff but I do love it and I'm really happy that golf does a lot with animal prints and stuff like that because I think it looks great on pieces and I wasn't a huge fan of the t-shirts but I did really like the boxers so I went ahead and picked these up and coming up next the real reason I decided to pull the trigger on the boxers is this rose print pair right here and if you guys give it with the channel a lot you know i praise this print religiously it's absolutely one of my favorite prints golf has done i had my eye on these boxers for a while but around the start of the coronavirus pandemic golf did a mass restock of a bunch of pieces that i believe were left over from the store and among that restock was these two pair of boxers and just being that i absolutely love both of these prints so much i knew i had to pull the trigger on them and i'm really happy that i did because they are some of my favorite boxers that i own coming up next to my accessories we actually have what is my newest golf pickup and that piece is the golf wing goshi collab towel i have a couple of videos about this towel on my channel so if you're interested in learning a little bit more about goshi i've already went in depth about why i love this towel i was actually a huge fan of goshi before the collab so when i saw the two brands come together and do a collab i knew i had to get my hands on it and the next golf accessory i have to show you all was one that i was actually wearing and the, and the only golf piece i own that i wear every single day and the piece that i'm talking about is this golf lafleur pendant this is one of my favorite pieces of jewelry that golf has ever done i know it's a very simple piece but that's kind of what i like about it i know a lot of you guys probably don't know this about me but i'm actually really into jewelry whether it be earrings or rings or necklaces or grills i'm just a huge fan of jewelry and when it comes to like daily wear pieces i think simplicity is key and i think the lafleur pendant is literally that one golf piece that you can wear every single day and it never looked bad with anything it can really elevate a fit and it doesn't look bad with any fit and i just absolutely 
absolutely love and I probably will never sell this piece. And coming up next, we actually have another piece from Camp Flognaw and it is the commemorative Camp Flognaw 2018 baseball. Just in case you all don't know, Camp Flognaw 2018 was the first time that Camp Flognaw was ever held at Dodger Stadium. So they did this baseball to kind of commemorate that. I actually bought Camp Flognaw tickets aftermarket after they had already sold out. And one of the VIP tickets that I ended up getting my hands on just happened to be one of the pre-sale VIP tickets, which were the only tickets that came with the baseball. And I just ended up randomly getting it in the mail one day and I absolutely love it. Coming up next, we have the Kill Cat Pillow. This is once again, another piece that I got at Camp Flognaw. Um, every single year I go to Camp Flognaw, I get the um, unlimited game pass just because I love playing like those little carnival games and winning little prizes, whether they be the little lighters or socks or little pillows like this. Me and my dad, who actually went with me to Camp Flognaw, grinded to get this pillow. And I think it's a great addition to my room. It's another one of those pieces that I will never sell just because of how hard I actually had to work to get this thing because I suck at carnival games. I think they're like 90% luck, but I still end up getting my hands on one anyway. Coming up next, we have my golf bags. The first one is one you've probably seen a lot if you watch the channel a lot, and it is actually nothing crazy. It is just the Camp Flognaw 2019 book bag. Once again, every single year for the VIP package, golf does a commemorative book bag for the year, and I just use whatever book bag I get from that year's Flognaw as like my book bag for the year. So this is my bag whenever I go to stay the night at someone's house, whenever I go out of town, or like, you know, for school. This is just kind of like my daily driver book bag because I'm getting it with a VIP package. So like, why not use it? And coming up next with my golf bags, we have the Golf Pride Worldwide Duffel. And if you all are familiar with the piece and you know that there was a strip going across the top of this that actually said Golf Pride Worldwide, but I traded it with this guy on Depop, I believe. And when I got the bag, there was a huge chunk of that strip like missing, but I still really wanted to keep the piece just because I love the duffel bag. And I just took the strip off the top of it. So I just have this golf patch on the side now, but I think it still looks just as good. And coming up next, we have my scarves. The first scarf or bandana technically is the Save the Bees bandana in this cream colorway. I absolutely love the colors on this bandana and I wear it a lot in the springtime and summer, which is coming up really soon. So this is about to get a ton of wear out of me. I know they have a ton of colorways of this bandana on the website, but this is my personal favorite. And it was really inexpensive. This was only like 10 bucks. So if you're kind of interested in kind of exploring with that style a little bit, like wearing scarves and bandanas and stuff like that with your fits, then I definitely recommend going on the website and checking this out. It's really inexpensive and looks great with a ton of fits. Finishing out the scarves, we have the Gelato Silk Scarf. This dropped originally in 2018 and I absolutely love this thing. I wear this bandana all the time and really it's one of my favorite golf pieces, one of my favorite golf accessories of all time. Absolutely love this one. I wear it with fits all the time. Like I said, Gelato is one of my favorite designs and this is just a great piece to have it on. It can really elevate a fit. And moving on now to my golf hats, which I only have three of and they're all G hats. The first one is from Camp Flognaw 2018. And really, I don't wear this hat as much as I should. I think it's a great piece. I feel like a lot of people overlook this piece because it's not hype, but I think the colors on it are really, really nice. And to be honest, I'm guilty myself of not appreciating this hat enough. And coming up next, we have the Navy G hat. This is not the one that dropped in 2017. This is the one that dropped in winter 2019. I really love Navy. I wear this hat all the time. I absolutely love G hats. They're my favorite hats that golf does. There's something about the simplicity of them and how you can really throw them on with whatever fit you're wearing as long as the color scheme matches. And what really brings the G hats together for me, which I know golf uses the same like style of hats for a lot of their pieces, is the fit. I absolutely love the way these hats fit me. And finishing out my golf hat collection, we have the dark green G hat. They have been releasing this G hat a lot recently and I think it's kind of for good reason. The dark green G hat is just kind of a classic G hat colorway. I don't know if it's because Tyler at one point was just wearing green hats all the time. But I think green hats are kind of an iconic thing to golf. But I think the most iconic of those hats is the dark green G hat. So I think this hat is kind of like a staple to golf. Moving on now to my golf bottoms, which at the moment I only have one of. The only pair of golf bottoms that I have are the dark brown Romeo corduroy shorts. These shorts are a huge grail to so many people and they're a huge grail to me. I was so happy to finally get my hands on them. I wear these shorts religiously in the spring and summer or like literally whenever I can wear shorts. I love corduroy. I love brown. I love the Golf Romeo logo. I love the fit. Everything about these shorts are just great to me. I wear them all the time. Literally, whenever I get an opportunity to wear shorts, this is like the first pair that I go to. The quality is great. I've had these since 2019, and they've actually held up really well, in my opinion. Moving on now to my golf t-shirts. The first one that I have is this dark green and pink colorway of the Golf logo tee. This 
t-shirt dropped as part of the Golf Summers Essentials Collection of 2020 and really is one of my favorite golf logo tees. I wear a lot of white t-shirts, so it's really nice to kind of switch things up and throw this on every once in a while. The next tee that I have is the Golf Sushi tee. I copped this back in 2019. It's been coming up a lot in my rotation of tees recently. I feel like recently golf has been focusing a lot more on consoles, which is great for me because that's what I like more than anything. But in my opinion, this is one of the last like really, really good t-shirt designs that golf did. The next t-shirt I have is the Golf 3M logo tee. This one dropped, I believe, back in 2018 and has been a mainstay in my collection since then. This was the first golf logo tee that I ever cop and really is one of my favorite. I actually really, really love 3M. So I love taking pictures with this tee because it just makes the logo really pop if you've ever seen 3M. It's also a really, really simple t-shirt, which is also what I love about it because I can wear this with a ton of fits as well. The next tee I have is the Golf Wayne Grinch tee. I got this t-shirt at Camp Flognaw 2018 and this is probably the most rare golf t-shirt that I own. I don't wear this t-shirt a ton, but it's kind of became a tradition for me to wear this on Christmas. But I think the history around this tee is really, really cool with Tyler doing the Grinch Lafleur's, doing the Grinch soundtrack. And that's the biggest reason that I keep it in my collection. Up next, we have the Golf Logo Igor tee. This is such a sick t-shirt and once again, gets a ton of wear out of me in the spring and summer. Igor is one of my favorite Tyler albums and it actually dropped the day I had my last classes of high school. So I have a lot of memories associated with that album. And I just think it's cool to have this tee to kind of commemorate that because not only do I just love golf logo tees, but this comes in a pink and red colorway, which in my opinion is kind of the most iconic one of the suits like that he wore as a part of the whole Igor character with him wearing the color scheme at the Grammys. And so I just think it's really cool to have this tee in my collection. And coming up next, we have another really, really iconic golf piece. And this is the Flower Boy Save the Bees tee. But nine times out of 10, when I'm walking down the street and I see somebody wearing golf, it's almost always one of these pieces. But like around where I live, not a lot of people wear golf. So like literally every single time I've seen somebody around here wearing golf, it was one of these tees. They've restocked these tees and hoodies more times than I could count and they sell out every single time. I don't really wear this tee too much anymore, but to be honest, I just don't really have the heart to get rid of it. And finishing out my golf t-shirt collection, we have my newest golf tee. And this is the Igor Puppets tee in the black colorway. I actually didn't buy this tee. I was unfortunately not able to go on any stops of the Igor tour, but I did get to see him perform it live in concert at Camp Flognaw, so that was still really cool. I got this t-shirt from the Golf Cyber Monday mystery boxes they did last year, and I realized I didn't really have any Igor merch other than the logo tee we looked at just a second ago, and I don't really wear black too much, but I really enjoy the color scheme of this tee, and I was really, really regretting not having some Igor merch, so I decided to go ahead and keep my hands on this one. Now, moving on to my Golf Wayne cut and sew pieces. Starting this out, we're going to go ahead and look at the button-ups, and the first button-up I have is the tomato button up in this yellow colorway. Initially when these dropped, I copped both colorways of this button up, but I ended up selling the light blue one. This is one of my go-to button ups when it's really, really hot outside and I just really want to wear a button up. I remember back in 2019 when I first saw this button up, I remember seeing Tyler wear it, knew immediately that I had to have it because I used to go shopping or whatever and I would see the little tomato cans with this design on it and I just thought it was so cool that golf decided to put it on a button up and that it actually looked really, really nice. This really gives me that summer vibe and it's really breathable. So whenever it's really hot outside, this is just what I wear. Coming up next, we have a piece that I actually have a ton of buyer's remorse for copying, but we actually have the Safari utility vest in this blue colorway. I just have not worn this piece a single time since I bought it. The only reason I ended up copying it is because I really, really wanted to get my hands on one of the LaFleur utility vests. So I ended up copying this thinking it would kind of scratch that itch for me, but it just never really did. And while I'm not really against these vests, this just really isn't one of my favorite pieces and I like never wear it. And coming up next, we have one of my favorite golf pieces of all time. This is the no nukes button up in the OG colorway. They also did this in an infrared colorway, which is also really sick, but I copped this at Camp Flognaw 2018 as well. It was my first golf cut and sew piece that I ever owned. So before I bought this piece, I was just buying a lot of hoodies and t-shirts and stuff, but they had a little pop-up golf store at Camp Flognaw and they were selling this button up there. And when I saw it in person, I just knew immediately that I had to have it. It's been one of my favorite pieces since I copped it back in 2018. I just think it's the perfect button up. I love the way it fits me. I love the colors. I love how breathable it is. This is another one of those pieces that I wear a ton when it starts getting warm out. Like literally I've made it a tradition like whenever I go to Camp Flognaw or whenever I go to any music festival at least one of the days that I'm there I make sure I rock this button up in a fit. I don't know how I kind of started that tradition for myself but it's just been one of those things I've been doing ever since. And finishing out my golf button ups we have the shattered glass button up that dropped in winter 2019. There were only two pieces that I enjoyed from the golf winter 2019 collection and it was the navy g hat and the shattered glass button up. I really love the addition of the clouds on this button up. A lot of you 
guys know, I love to be outside and I wear a lot of colors that kind of represent my love of nature, whether it be like light blues or dark greens or browns. So this button up just kind of gives me that feeling of looking at a pretty sky in like a weird way. So I just absolutely love it for that. Coming up next, we're going to get into my golf jackets. The first jacket we're going to look at is one of my favorite golf pieces of all time. This is actually my favorite piece in my entire collection. I wear this piece year round. I love the color. I love the fit. This is the pink colorway of the Golf Lafleur Bomber Jacket. I've done an entire video about why I like this jacket. You can check that out on my channel. So if you want to see me go in depth about this jacket and why I love it so much, you can go check that out. But I just don't know what I can say about this jacket that I haven't already. Love the fit. Love the colors. It's one of my favorite golf pieces ever. And this is another one of those golf pieces that I will never, ever, ever sell. Coming up next, we have another piece that I've been praising a lot recently. And it is the light blue colorway of the zip plaid flannel from the winter 2020 season. I'm sure you all have heard me talk about this a lot and I'm probably tired of hearing me saying it, but I absolutely love this piece. I think it was one of the highlights of the winter 2020 collection. It's a great fall and winter piece to me and I just absolutely love the colorway. Coming up next, we have the anti-golf work jacket from winter 2020. This is another one of those pieces that I think is just amazing for fall and winter. I love the collar and how it contrasts with the rest of the jacket. I love the shade of green and I've been wanting to explore with these kind of workwear style pieces for a long time. So this jacket was a great cop for me. The quality on this piece is outstanding as well. We have the golf rose work jacket in this cream colorway. This piece dropped in autumn 2020 and I copped it off of a restock and I think what really really brings this piece together is the design on the back. When I first saw this piece I wasn't a huge fan of it because I just thought it was going to be something really simple like having the golf wing embroidered on the front or something like that but I was really pleasantly surprised to see this design on the back. I think it fits this jacket really really well. I had the light blue colorway of the old golf work jacket for a really really long time so I had already known that I was a huge fan of those style of pieces. I know a lot of people think roses are kind of getting overplayed in streetwear and I kind of agree. However, I just think this embroidered rose on the back of the jacket fits it perfectly, really brings it full circle and made this jacket a must have. Finishing out my jackets, we have the Rose Puffer. This is another jacket that I've been praising for years. It is one of my favorite pieces Golf Wing has ever done. It's super warm, the quality is amazing and this is just another one of those pieces that I'm not really sure what else to say about it other than what I've already said. It is my most worn piece in the winter and I really, really hope we see something more like this from Golf moving forward. I loved all the floral print stuff we were getting from golf around that time. This is definitely my favorite piece from the winter 2018 collection and easily my favorite colorway of all the rose puffers that we got from that year. And now to close out the collection video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at my golf shoes. Starting out my shoes, we have the first golf piece that I ever owned. This shoe dropped in four different colorways and was the first collaboration we saw between Tyler and Converse. And my personal favorite was, of course, this light blue colorway that I have here. Flower Boy is absolutely my favorite Tyler album. And at the time, I was really, really into sneakers. So when I saw Tyler do a collaboration with Converse on these shoes, they were an absolute must have for me. As you can see, these shoes are very beat. I wore them almost every single day when I first got them. I don't wear them too much anymore, but they're another one of those pieces that I will just never sell because of the memories I have attached to them. Up next, we have the only pair of Unos that I own, and that is the industrial pair. As you all know, I am not a huge fan of the Unos, but I was a huge fan of the industrial pack. I thought the colors on these just went amazing together, and I was really at the time looking for a shoe that I could wear like every single day. And with the type of pieces that I was wearing at that time, this was just a perfect pair for me. So I decided to go ahead and pick them up. Like I said, they're the only pair of Golf Le Florinos that I actually really enjoyed enough to cop, which I know for a lot of people is probably odd because they're not one of the super high pair of Unos, but I just absolutely love them. Up next, we have the Clearwater Chuck Taylors. I got these shoes as a part of the Camp Flogna 2018 pack, which actually, believe it or not, was the first video I ever uploaded on the channel was a video of me unboxing the Camp Flogna 2018 VIP pack. And I've also just got a ton of memories associated with them because I wore them like while I was at Camp Flogna. I got them as a part of the VIP pack. And of course, as you all know, I really love light blue and brown. So I love, 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 love the colorway on these. Coming up next, we have another pair of Lafleur Chucks. They're such an easy to wear colorway and flow so well with a lot of the pieces that I have in my collection right now. And actually, I don't wear these shoes as much as I should. I definitely need to appreciate these and give them a little bit more wear. And finishing out my collection, we have my favorite golf shoe of all time, the Giano. They're absolutely my favorite shoe Tyler has ever done. I actually copped these shoes at the golf store and I got to meet Tyler in the store the same day I copped these. So once again, a huge memory attached to them for me. I wear these shoes year round and this colorway is easily my favorite colorway they've done of all the Giannos. Even though they haven't released a Giano that I haven't liked yet, this is definitely my favorite colorway and I definitely need to look into getting more Giannos in the future. But the only problem is these shoes go with literally every single outfit I would want to wear with the Giannos. So I just wouldn't really have a need to cop anymore. But believe me, if I had a lot of disposable income, I would have a ton of Giannos laying 
hanging around my house right now because I just absolutely love them. The quality on them is amazing and they are super comfortable. I just can't recommend these shoes to you all enough. If you're interested in buying them, I definitely say go for it. But that'll do it for this video, guys. Like I said, I know this has been a bit of a long one, so I don't want to take up too much of your time. So I just want to go ahead and wrap it up by saying thank you for checking this video out. And if you like this kind of content and you'd like to see more, definitely like this video and subscribe to the channel. I have a ton of golf and streetwear content coming moving forward. But that'll do it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for checking this out. I'll see you in the next one.